So, SmackDown Live was okay. It wasn't anything to write home about, let's be honest about it. The show was just okay. But I guess the question is, what did you guys think? They should have done a career versus career at SummerSlam, but it is great for the debut of Fox SmackDown. So that way, we don't get to see Shane in the new era of SmackDown. Crying, laughing face, crying, laughing face, crying, laughing face. I believe that the Brian and Roman storyline will lead to a match later down the road for a WWE Championship opportunity. I agree. I think it's going to either be Brian is the mastermind of the whole thing right here with the attacks on Roman Reigns, or it's just going to straight up be a babyface versus babyface number one contendership match for the WWE Championship. The show was decent in my opinion, but the Kevin Owens and Shane McMahon ladder match is interesting. Can't wait for that. I think it was pretty good. I'm glad that the Kevin and Shane rivalry will end with something different than just a Hell in a Cell match since they already had that. Overall, pretty decent show to close out SmackDown on USA. And honestly, my friend, I forgot about the fact that Kevin Owens and Shane McMahon had a Hell in a Cell match in the past. That's where Sami Zayn turned heel, saved Kevin Owens as Shane came crashing down through the table. So you're absolutely right. Good on WWE for not just going back with another match we've seen before and giving us a ladder match, a type of match that we don't generally see in the WWE all that often anymore, unless it's money in the bank. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm personally pumped for this match. The show overall wasn't bad, but compared to Raw, it's trash. And especially heading into SmackDown moving to Friday and Fox, they need some more exciting matches and pull out things that would entertain us. But the show stealers for me are the Daniel Bryan vs. Eric Rowan match and how that played out. Fire and Desire vs. the Kabuki Warriors, big thumbs up. And the ending portion of the show were all good. So my final rating of the show is 8 out of 10. Most of you might know by now, but I am a huge Sasha fan. So I loved the end. She had been booked weak over the past few weeks. Becky looked strong too, I thought. I'm also kind of hyped for this ladder match and want to hear Shane, you're fired. It's a 9.5 out of 10 for me. It's a good show. I like the Roman and Brian thing. Honestly, SmackDown was okay. The Rowan vs. Brian match came out of nowhere. Sasha and Bailey vs. Flair and Carmella was eh. And SmackDown was fine. Brah, let him in. Fiend for the Universal Champion. I, I guess you just had to sneak that in there. Yeah, I'm down with the Fiend, but this was SmackDown Live, my friend. Let's talk more about SmackDown. Didn't watch? Oh, well, okay. Well, that doesn't really help out at all. I don't know why, but I feel like Brian is still secretly working with Rowan and Harper. And like I said earlier on in the show, I could see that still being a thing. But the way that the story is going right now, it's starting to feel like they're moving further and further away from that being a possibility. Not impossible, but... Brian is getting attacked a lot. He's being put through tables. And if he's a true mastermind, then you gotta question yourself and say, well, what's really the point? Just a regular SmackDown, seven out of 10. I think that the Owens versus McMahon match is going to be predictable with Shane winning with some help. I don't know from who. And Kevin heading to NXT to join the Undisputed Era. I would say that's far from predictable, <laughs> if I'm being honest. The predictable thing seems that Shane McMahon will lose to Kevin Owens, and Kevin Owens will get his job back, and Shane McMahon will be taken off TV. That seems like the predictable route. What you just suggested was almost a fantasy booking type of scenario. Don't get me wrong, I'd love to see Kevin Owens join the Undisputed Era, but that is not predictable. Definitely not predictable. You should subscribe to Con Man Reacts. Yo, MLB Clips knows what's up, my friends. You should. It was great, to be honest, especially with it being the last episode on the USA Network. We have entered into a new era of WWE with next Monday and Friday. We have pyro and new stages. Can't wait for what the future holds for WWE. What an exciting time to be a wrestling fan. Whether you're with WWE, AEW, New Japan, Ring of Honor, TNA, what have you. Wrestling is the best it has ever been, and there's more ways to watch your favorite superstars on whatever show. I'm just excited to have this, this whole new generation of people seeing wrestling and how great it truly can be. The show was just okay. Seemed like they were setting up some future storylines, which is good. Glad to see KO is back. I hope CM Punk shows up on Friday next week. There's always that one person, isn't there? Pretty good show. Kinda feel like the Kevin Owens Shane McMahon feud has been going on for too long. I like the Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan segment. I also chuckled a bit when R-Truth put Carmella on his back and ran away with her. I would give the show a 7.5 out of 10. The show was just made to pass time to get us to Fox. I think WWE's gonna step its game up once they go over to Fox. 
a few good moments, but nothing that great. Just okay, 6 out of 10. And unfortunately, right now, we are stuck in a little bit of a limbo. There's no real upcoming pay-per-views. Yes, you've got Hell in a Cell, but the whole purpose of that pay-per-view is the Cell matches, and we've already got those booked. So, WWE is in a little bit of a limbo right now because we got the draft coming up, they've got a pay-per-view, they've got the switch over to Friday, they've got new stages on Monday and Friday as well. So, it's just right now, they don't want to do any heavy storylines because what's the payoff going to be? They might end up on different brands, the storylines might be dropped as soon as the shows switch over. So, yeah, you're right, absolutely just a filler show today. I give it an 8.5 out of 10. The best part of the night, in my opinion, was when Kevin Owens challenged Shane to a career versus career ladder match. Hashtag end Shane's career. 5 out of 10 jobbers are nonsense. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to take a look at the poll and see what your results were. We got ourselves 61% sitting here at friggin' fantastic, 23% sitting at good, 11% sitting at just okay. That's a little higher than normal. There you go. 2% sitting at bad and 4% sitting at absolute crap. But don't let the conversation end with this video. I want to hear from each and every single one of you guys down in the comments section below. What were your thoughts on SmackDown Live? Did you like the show? Did you not? Did you really, really hate it? Or were you somewhere in between all three of those options? The choice is yours. Let me know once again down in the comment section below. But while you're at it, make sure you leave a like on this video. Also making sure you are subscribed to this channel. And of course, my main channel, Conman167, as that is where you can vote in the polls for these videos. Make sure you get your comments in as quickly as possible once the polls are up because there's a lot of comments that come through and I can only fit so many people into this video. But again, guys, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you enjoy the content on this channel. Thank you for giving Con Man Reacts a chance. And as always, I've been Con, and that was What Did You Think of SmackDown Live? You should subscribe to Con Man Reacts.